Now, part of why I'm going right into slideshows, because quite frankly, I want you to get excited about this theme framework and I want to make my page look a little bit more exciting than this horrible designed website we're looking at right now. So here's what we need to do. I'm just going to close this window here. So here's front end, here's back end, here's front end, here's back end. So here's what you have to pay attention to. So we're going to go under ultimatum and we're going to go to settings. Now, before we do that, pay close attention to this on the left. Notice that there's nothing here that says slideshow. Okay. So you're going to say, well, how can I put a slideshow? I don't see anything for slideshow. Well, that's why you need to go under ultimatum and go under settings. Then based on these choices, you have something called advanced settings. Ooh, advanced. Ooh, he's getting advanced. Now it's really simple or than that. That's just where they put them. So based on these choices, we're going to go under extra settings. And then based on these choices, we want to turn on slideshows. Now, while we're in here, I also want to type and or take advantage of rather of ultimatum short codes. Now, we'll review this in a subsequent video, but just pay attention that we're turning on slideshows and short codes right now by clicking right there. And again, that was under advanced settings, extra settings, and I'm going to save the changes. So if you look over here to the left, when I go back out of this, if I was to click, say, post as an example, you'll notice that slideshow is sitting right here. So again, you have to go under ultimatum, go to settings, go to advanced settings, and based on these choices, I turn my slideshow on. So that's turned on, this is turned on. Perfect. Now let's go back to this for a second. Let's go back to our basic settings. Let's go back to our general settings, okay? Now, this is where you can, which is pretty self-explanatory, so I really don't need to do any kind of video presentation. If you want to put a favorite icon in there, if you want to do a placeholder for an image into your clients, give it the information. That's all under general settings. We'll explore more of these options in a subsequent video, but this is really needs no explanation. It's actually simpler than you think. If you want to create your title as a logo, then you can do that as well. It's really pretty straightforward. In fact, there's directions on here, et cetera, et cetera. So it's nothing I'd have to spend time on with a video. Now let's get into slideshow. Really cool stuff. Now keep in mind, because I turned my slideshows on, I now have a slideshow option. And based on these choices, because once again, software comes down the choices, I'm going to add a new slideshow. Now here's what I want to share with you. We could have many different types of slides in our slideshow presentation. So let's say we have products. We have planes, trains, and automobiles. Those are different product categories. So we can have a different slider for each category if, in fact, that's what we wanted to do. So I'm going to keep this really simple and call this main slider and publish. Now, we don't have any images in our main slider, so what we need to do is add an image to our slideshow. Now, this gets into Media Gallery. Now, this is right out of the box, WordPress 101, Media Gallery. This is where you store your images, your assets, your files, your uploads, your videos, anything you're going to upload from your desktop gets stored inside your media library. Now, you'll notice we don't have anything in our media library, so we're going to go to Select Files. And I just happen to have on the left here, for your, for your viewing pleasure, a bunch of different slides. So we're going to select slider one, two, three, four, and we're going to open. Now what this is going to do, this is going to put in those different sliders into our media library. Now you can change the image and the size from here, you can delete them. Now, again, getting into SEO, anytime you put something into your WordPress installation, I would definitely take the time to fill in the information to make it user friendly. The alternative text, for those of you that don't know this, will appear as an image is loading if you're on a slow connected, you know, back in the day with uh, dial up, which I don't think is used anymore. But the alternative text is good for search engine optimization, as well as the caption and description. We're not going to talk about that any longer, but I would definitely take the time to fill in that information and we're going to hit select. Now, the order that you want your slides to be can simply be changed by, so let's say I want one, then I want two, then I want three, then I want four. 
Okay. Now, again, I want to share with you how the software thinks, because if you don't understand how it thinks, if I'm going to teach you a language and you don't understand how to conjugate a verb or to structure a sentence with syntax, then you can't write paragraphs. Therefore, you can't communicate. So I'm trying to share with you how to communicate with the software. I'm going to update. So right now I have a slider created called main slider. I have images which are listed right here and I'm going to go back to my site. So I have all this information in here. And if you're expecting to see the slider by hitting the refresh button, eh, not going to happen. Okay, because one of the things I said in the previous video is I have to have a widget and the widget needs to contain content. Well, right now I do have content for my sliders. I do have a slider created. I do have the slider enacted, but I don't have a place for the slider to live. So in our next video, we will install the slider widget. So stay tuned.